Here it is, folks. This is the product that I've been designing with Z-Man for going on 18 months now. This is the new SMH head. You can see I'm, that's, that's me, the little cartoon on the top. That's how you know this is the right jig head. So I wanted something, being a tournament fisherman, I wanted something that, you know, that I could use a lot. And if you look at tournament results, if you look at tournament standings and top 10 baits, it's always simple things that tournament fishermen always end up using the most. And one of the pieces of terminal tackle that I use a lot is just a shaky head. So the guys at Z-Man were uh, willing to let me have full design influence over the new SMH head. Let me tell you a little bit about it. I'm actually out here fishing with it today and I've got one tied on. And there's even though this is a simple bait, there's some very specific things that I did with this to make it a little different than any other product uh, that I have had the opportunity to fish anyway. The thing that I put the most thought into and uh, the most design work into was the head shape, all right? So typically, a shape, uh, the shape of a shaky head is gonna have a flat underside on it, and the whole thought process behind that is so that the bait stands up. Well, I don't have to have that because all the plastics that I use are Z-Man plastics that are made out of elastic, which floats. So it doesn't matter what shape the head is, that elastic is gonna pull that jig up in the upright position every time. So that allowed me to come up with a, a jig shape head that is more round and that actually allows for better hookups. The flat side on any type of shaky head can sometimes hinder your, your hookup ratio. So we went with the round head. We actually compacted it in a little bit just to make that head pop through the fish's mouth a little bit better ensuring that you get a better hookup ratio, especially when you're talking about using lighter line. Uh, you'll notice also that the line tie is recessed inside the bait. You know, the thought process there, a lot of people would say maybe it protects your line, protects your knot, and the truth is it really just looks better. Secondly, the other thing it does is if you're fishing around grass or any kind of aquatic vegetation, it just makes your jig head and your, your setup a little bit more compact, so it just comes through the grass a little bit better. This guy has a four aught hook built into the jig head and we've got a barb keeper so you can keep your plastics buttoned up. And you'll notice that the jig head also has a flat bottom side to it. That way, if you need to rig it up, put a little bit of super glue on there, your plastic butts up really, really nicely to it. So check it out. I also designed a series of worms to go with the jig head called the SMH worms. It's a six and a half inch worm. We got eight colors in this guy. And I promise you, this is a setup that you can use to catch fish from Florida to New York. The SMH jig head and the SMH worms, I promise y'all, you can catch a lot of bass in there. So I'm gonna show you where I like to fish this guy. You know, a six and a half inch worm like this, straight tail worm, you can use in a bunch of different scenarios. That's why we have so many colors. We started with eight colors and we're gonna add a whole lot of colors as we move on down the line. Right now I'm using sprayed grass. You can see I've got fairly clear water here, but it does have some pockets of stain water. So it's about eight to 10 inches of visibility, but there is a worm in every, for every color situation that you come across. But what I'm typically looking for when I'm throwing the SMH, you know, a shaky head can work in a lot of different situations, but I, this time of the year specifically, I like these sharper, steeper banks. You can see I've got a steeper bank closer to deep water here. And I'm just kind of pitching at any kind of visual target or inconsistency that I see. There's even some cypress trees. I'll throw it around the cypress trees. You can use a shaky head just about anywhere. Of course, around docks, I'll use it around bridge pilings, riprap. I'll just fish it at anything that I can visually see. That's where I like to catch a lot of my bass with it. So the SMH is a six and a half inch worm. I like that length because sometimes I want a little bit longer worm, but the thing I do like about it, if I want to cut it down to four inch size, or if I want to cut it down to less than three inches and make a nid rig out of it, you can do that and it works really good. The worm's got a nice taper to it, so it's gonna have really lifelike action in the water because the way elastic performs, 
and that little bit of thread on the tail, plastic there, it's gonna be money. See these little isolated trees like that? It probably, if I'm gonna catch one, that's gonna be a cot dog on a good place to catch one. Good one too, bro. Man, that must be a freaking hoss. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you the SMH is a bad dude. Stuck him. <laughs> Whoa, golly. You can catch fish anywhere. I didn't even when I designed this, I was not thinking about cypress trees. Look at it's got a peg right in the side of the schnauzer. Reach down here. Who's shaking their head now, baby? <laughs> a little sprayed grass action. You can see the water clarity is kind of clear, but not really. About a foot visibility. See, that's, that's the reason, like, these are the tools that you use. I'm fishing on cypress trees. Initially, I'm thinking about rip rap and fishing deep and clay banks and long points. But a shaky head, that's why you see a lot of tournament fishermen use it, because you can use it in a bunch of different situations. Right on, that's a nice little keeper right there. All right, yes sir, buddy. Now, this is the best part about using elastic. If I was using traditional plastic, I'd be done with that, that worm. All I'm gonna do is stick my worm right back up on the hook. It's just as good as it was before I caught that fish. There's one. Oh, he come off. Dang it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Here's a good thing about the new SMH worm. You know, I designed it specifically to use as a shaky head worm, but it's not limited to that. It's not something you got to box it into that. Right now I'm about to use a Nico worm. Nico worm is just a fancy way of basically uh, having a, a knit rig. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hook it right there in the middle. Of course, you know, elastic floats, so we need a little bit of weight to get that guy down. They make a little product called the Nico weights. You can insert your uh, insert a little weight right in the nose of the plastic. I think this is a 1 15th ounce Nico weight. And you can skip that around in the tree, let it settle down. It's another good way to catch them. You can also rig it on a drop shot, put it on a Carolina rig, tatterbait trailer. It's a one stop shop, you know what I'm saying?